Hi there, everybody. Keith Schweigert here from LancasterSports.com with your preview of Saturday's PIAA Class AA quarterfinal clash between Lancaster Catholic and Loyal Sock, which will get underway at 1 p.m. in Shemokin High School's Kent Memorial Stadium. Special note, if you don't feel like making the drive up to Pennsylvania's coal country, you can stay right home and follow the game on LancasterSports.com, where I'll be blogging live. Lancaster Catholic comes into this one in peak form after demolishing DeLone Catholic 42-6 in last Friday's District 3 championship game. The Crusaders are 12-1 in the season and moved up to number one in the Harrisburg Patriot News' statewide Class AA poll. Loyal Sock enters this game as the underdog, but that's something they should be used to by now. They had to win their, their last game of the regular season just to get into the District 4 playoffs as the sixth seed, but since then they went on a hot streak. They've allowed just 15 points in three playoff games, and last week knocked off fourth-seeded Lewisburg 41-6 to claim their second District 4 title in the last three years. Loyal Sox offensive numbers don't really jump out at you, especially when you compare them to Lancaster Catholics. The Lancers average 275 yards and 21 points per game. Most of that damage is done in the ground, where they average 183 yards per game. They're led on offense by quarterback Steven Stoffer. He's a senior. He started the season at running back and was a 1,000-yard rusher for the Lancers last season, but he made the switch over to quarterback in week eight. Since then, he's rushed for 1,000, or on the season, he's rushed for 1,391 yards and passed for 808 yards and accounted for 22 of the Lancers' touchdowns this year. When he made the move to quarterback, he was replaced in the backfield by sophomore Mike Kinney, who has 785 yards and 10 touchdowns on 158 carries this season. The top receiver on the team is Frankie Pagana. He has 22 catches, 492 yards, and six scores. The Lancers pride themselves on their defense, which allows just 231 yards and 9.8 points per game. But I gotta tell you, they haven't run into a team with the kind of firepower that Lancaster Catholic can bring to the fray. The Crusader offense averages 380 yards per game, 188 in the ground, 192 through the air. They've put up 555 points this season, or 42 per game, and has scored at least 40 points in 10 of their 13 games this year, including the last nine in a row. When you talk about Catholic, you got to start with quarterback Kyle Smith. Yes, I know we've been talking about him all year, but he really deserves the hype. He now owns two state records. He has 8,142 career passing yards. He broke that one last week. That was Pat Devlin's mark up until Smith came along. And he also has 114 career touchdown passes. That breaks LL League alum Pat Bostick's record. I blanked on Pat Bostick's name there. Sorry about that. He's, Smith is also within three touchdowns of tying Chad Kroll's record of 49 touchdown throws in a single year. Smith is at 46 right now. But Smith is far from Catholic's only weapon. There's also running back Jordan Stewart, who has school records for rushing yards and rushing touchdowns in a single season, with 14.01 on the ground and 19 touchdowns. There's also wideout Tyler Purvis, who has 52 catches for 935 yards and 16 scores. Then you got your role players, Kevin Cotchin, Reese McCall, Quinn Hauser. The list goes on and on for Catholic. They got tons of weapons. And we haven't even started to discuss Catholic's defense. They allow just 199 yards per game and 12.5 points per game. Last week, they dominated DeLone Catholic's offense, which had come into the game averaging 383 yards, including 307 yards per game on the ground. They managed just 163 total yards against the Crusaders and were completely shut down. Add it all up, what do you get? Well, I know you can't always go by statistics. Sometimes they lie. But I can't look at these numbers and see any way for Loyal Sock to pull off an upset. The Lancers are going to try to keep it physical, they're going to try to dominate along the line of scrimmage, and they're going to try to control the game with that defense. But Lancaster Catholic doesn't mind mixing it up in the trenches, and they've got a pretty physical defense too. And I think their offense just has too many weapons and does too many things well for Loyal Stock to stop for an entire game. If the Crusaders play to their ability, they should keep right on rolling through the state playoffs. We'll see if I'm right on Saturday.